Hi everyone, solving a question today. This Olympiad question, x plus y equals 4 and xy equals 24. Then what's going to be the value of x and y? We have two equations here and we're going to solve them simultaneously. In which a lot of people like using elimination method in order to solve a question like this. That can't work. We have to use substitution method in order to solve a problem like this. If we see the first equation as equation 1, then we're going to see the second equation as equation 2. And from equation 1, we can generate another equation by making y subject of formula. Then if we do that, we're going to have y is going to be equal to 4 minus x. Making y subject of formula, then we have minus x at the other side. And we're going to be referring to this as equation 3. Then I need to demarcate this as it is to separate my question from my solution. Now what we're going to do is to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. As we can see, uh, this is equation 2x plus y equals 24. That is, then we're going to substitute equation 3. That is, we're going to change this y. That is, instead of writing y here, we're going to put 4 minus x there. Then we're going to have x into bracket 4 minus x then equals to 24. So what we just did is just substitute for y. Y is 4 minus x here. Instead of writing the same y, then we just put in 4 minus x as the value of y here. And by expansion, we're going to have 4x then minus x squared still going to be equal to 24. Then if we can bring this inside, we're going to have 4x minus x squared minus 24 equals 0. Actually, this is a quadratic equation. So we can rearrange that to be perfectly fit into that. So we just move the x squared to the front here, then followed by plus 4x, then minus 24 equals to 0. In order to get the value of x from this equation, we might not just be able to use factorization in order to get that, but we're going to use quadratic formula to get what the value of x is going to be from here which is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac then over to a and that is going to be the value of x for this equation then from this equation the value of a is going to be minus 1 and the value of b equals that is coefficient of x that is 4 then the value of c that is the constant a that's going to be minus 24 Putting this into the formula, we're going to have minus 4 plus or minus then the square root of, that's going to be 16, that is 4 square, minus 4 into minus 1, then minus 24, which is C, or on the square root, then over 2A. A is equal to minus 1, of minus 1 here. And if this is done carefully, we have minus 4 plus or minus Square root of 16 minus negative 6, everything over minus 2 because 2 times minus 1 will give us minus 2. Then we're going to have minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 80, everything over minus 2. Dealing with this minus at the level of the numerator, the minus goes up and we're going to have minus. Then we're going to have brackets minus 4, everything that we have before. Then under the square root of minus 80, bracket close. Then we're going to have over 2 because the minus at the level of the numerator has gone up here. Then the, this becomes, we're going to have 4 here because minus, that is, times another minus here. Then please is going to give us positive 4. That is why we have it here. Then this minus multiplied by plus. Minus times plus is going to give us minus here. Then this minus multiplied by this minus here is going to give us plus. So that's why this hasn't changed. We still have plus or minus here after we've multiplied by the minus outside the parentheses here. We can now split whatever we have under the square root here, which is equal to 4 plus or minus. Then it's going to be the square root of minus 1 first. Then multiply by 16. Then multiply by 5. Everything all over 2 which is invariably the same thing as 4 plus or minus, square root of minus 1, separated, then square root of 16, which is 4, 
then square root of 5, which will mean square root of 5 over 2. Actually, square root of minus 80 is just a complex value. That is why we might need to separate this complex aspect as we have it here, minus, that is square root of minus 1, which is being referred to as i. Now the value of x now becomes 4 plus or minus 4 because the square root of 16 here is just 4 here. Then this 5, the root of 5 is still root of 5. The square root of minus 1 becomes i and that is exactly what it is then everything over 2. Definitely we can bring out the common number here which is 2 is common to 4. 2 is common to 4. Bring it out, factorize it out so that we can have something to simplify here. Then we have 2 outside there. Then 2 plus or minus 2 root of 5 i. Then we can easily see that something can go here. 2 goes there, that's going to be 1. 2 goes there, that's going to be another 1. At the end of the day, the value of x from this equation is exactly 2. That is 2 plus or minus. Then we have another 2, square root of 5. Then i, which is the complex number. Therefore, if this is the value of x, that is 2 plus or minus 2, root of 5i, then we need to find the value of y. So what's going to be the value of y from this equation? Then to find the value of y, we must remember that there are two values of x here. That is why we have plus or minus. That is x1 actually is 2 plus another 2 root of 5i. Then x2, the value of x2 is just 2 minus 2 root of 5 then i. So we're going to get y from going back to equation 3. You remember the equation 3 say y equals to 4 minus x. This is equation 3 there. From equation 3, we're going to have two values for y as we have two values for x. Therefore, we're going to start with x1. So we have x1 here and at the same time, we're going to have y1 here. That is the value of y1 and it's going to be corresponding with the value of x1. So y1 is just equal to 4 minus bracket open 2 plus 2 root 5i and if you open this bracket we're gonna have 4 minus 2 then minus 2 root of 5i if you check it out 4 minus 2 here is going to give me 2 therefore point 1 is just equal to 2 minus 2 root of 5i now to get the value of y2, I'm still going to use equation 3 by substituting the value of x2 there. So from this equation 3, then I'm going to have y2 here. In order to get the value of y2, I'm going to use x2. So therefore we're using this value, x2 is 2 minus 2 root 5i in replacement of the value of what we have here, that is this x2. So I'm going to clean it up and replace it with that value. Exactly what I have for the value of y2 and this is going to become that is the value of y2 now becomes 4 uh, Minus times this 2 that's going to give me minus 2 then this minus multiplied by this minus 2 also But this time I'm going to be plus 2 root 5 then I still have the high there That is the complex number there and if you do this carefully what I'm going to have 4 minus 2 is going to result into 2 So my y2 is now equal to 2 plus 2 root 5 then high and this is the final answer for y2 and at the same time the final answer for y1 for this value of x1 and x2 and the value of y1 and y2 let's quickly check if all these values are actually correct or not we might need to verify that we're going to verify for x1 and the y1 in these two equations so what are we going to do wherever we find x in the equation we're going to supply this value there. Then wherever we find y, we're going to insert this exact value there. Now, if we do that, what are we going to have? And instead of writing x here, I insert the value. So this is x and this is y. This is x and this is y. Then by the time we have both of them together, are we going to get 4 or not until we do that? Let's see. Actually, by me looking, anybody can see that plus 2 root 5i and then minus 2 root 5i is going to cancel each other here and we're going to be left with 2 here plus another 2 here definitely this is 4 so 4 actually equals to 4 verified this shows that the value of x and y there are actually correct and that is for equation 1 therefore equation 2 i'm going to do the same thing what i did in equation 1 
So x, y equals 24. So what I'm going to do here is that wherever I find y, x here, I'm going to pull the value of x there. Then wherever I find y in this equation, I'm going to pull the value of y1 there and see what I'm going to get. Probably if it's going to be equal to 24 or not. And that is exactly what I did. This is the value of x here. And this is the value of y here. So y. So I really want to see if x, y is just going to be equal to 24 or not. I'm going to use mathematical identity to multiply this. Since uh, I have the same value here, which is 2 and 2. And I have the same value here, which is root of 5i. And at the same time, I have the same value here. So I'm going to call this one a. And I'm referring this to b. This is also a. Still the same thing. And this is also b. Except that the sign that are different. I have plus a and I have minus a. So this mass identity says what I have a plus b in brackets multiplied by the same thing, but this time around minus, and this is going to result into a square then minus b square. Don't forget I have a different sign in between the brackets. So if I do that carefully here, I'm going to have two here that is a square that's going to two square minus then everything that refers to as b. That is, then put that in brackets for easy calculation. That is 2, then 5, so that is root of 5i, then all in bracket. Then the power of 2 is still there. Then checking this if this is going to be equal to 24. Actually, this is going to be 4, 2 squares, that is 4, minus. So if I'm going to split this, that is, this 2 is going to affect this 2, that is 2 square times. This 2 is going to affect this root 5, that is 5, square root of 5 square. And this 2 is this power of 2 is going to affect this r. And I have i square bracket close. And on the other way, I'm still going to have 4 here minus put in bracket also. That's going to be 4 also here. Then times what am I going to have here? This 2 is going to remove this square root. So I'm having 5 here times minus 1 here. Then I close the bracket also. Remember, always remember that a uh, square root of minus 1 is the one that is exactly i. Then if you square this, actually you also square this. And what you actually have is square root of minus 1 times another square root of minus 1. The same thing as i square. And at the end of the day, it's going to give you minus 1. Minus 1 is the final answer for that. And that is why we have minus 1 here exactly. And at the end of the day, I have 4 here. Minus into bracket minus 20. And 4 minus minus 20. That's going to be 4 plus 20. So it's going to be 4 plus 20. Which is exactly the same thing as 24, exactly the same thing as 24, exactly the same thing as 24. So 24 equals to 24. Verified. Once this is verified, it shows that the value of x1, x2, y1, y2 are all correct. Keep on loving Mary Mary and just before you go, kindly like the video, make a comment, I'm going to read your comment, share, subscribe. I'm going to really appreciate that because it's going to help my channel grow. Thank you so much.